So it would seem that we got a couple of hats being thrown into the ring. More specifically, when it was being reported that Tyler Perry was looking to purchase BET, I have to admit at first I was a little bit skeptical. Not so much at the idea of just him getting it done, but more so that it would even be sold. So here's the thing, I didn't actually know that there was any interest in anyone buying BET. But to be fair, I haven't really checked out BET in a very, very, very long time. So when news came up that Tyler Perry was actually interested, it immediately sparked my interest because you can call Tyler Perry a lot of things, but one thing that you cannot say about him is that he's unaware of the crowd that he has to please. Tyler Perry is very much so one of those guys, he listens to marketing. He gathers his audience and then he gives them exactly what it is that they want over and over and over and over and over again. Hence why he's made so many movies that all have the exact same recipes. If you even see his screenplays, they all have the exact same recipe. Because he might not know what works with someone else, but he knows what works with his audience. So beyond that now, here's what's going on. BET has apparently been in talks with Tyler Perry to actually become a majority stakeholder. But as it currently stands right now, he's a minority shareholder in the company and it's been this way for years. So taking over the majority would just put him in charge and for Tyler Perry, a move like this would be perfect for him. Given the nature of the business that he does, the movies he puts out, the shows that he frequents, this would actually be a perfect network for him. Because that would get him out of the wraps of, I believe he might be doing business with who, Netflix or whomever else? He would then be able to relinquish those contracts and then host his own shows, his own movies, the way he does it anyway, on his own network. Perfect situation. Until another player got introduced. You see, after hearing about this potential deal, you have to figure that someone else is also going to vie for interest because the moment that you hear something like a BET is up for sale, or even questioning the fact that they might be up for sale, someone else, like Puff Daddy, is going to then become interested because Puff Daddy, we know that he already runs a network. The name of the network is Revolt TV. It's basically hip hop and R&B culture and just music in general and social news. And so, if ever there was a chance for someone else to expand beyond Tyler Perry's own ambitions, this is perfect for Puff Daddy as well. Excuse me, P Diddy. But that wasn't all. It was Tyler Perry, then P. Diddy, but we also have Byron Allen, who's also a contender for purchasing BET. Now, Byron Allen, he's worth about $800 million. He currently runs AMG, or Allen Media Group. If you don't recognize what this guy owns, you probably do, you just don't know it yet. If you've ever watched, even for a moment, if you've ever watched the Weather Channel, the Weather Channel Television Network, he owns that. So we have three major contenders and this builds my confidence that this deal will actually get done pretty shortly. But if I were to give it to anybody. Now, if I were to actually take a bet and determine who it is that this deal would go to, I would probably have to lean more towards P. Diddy getting this deal done. Why? It's because although Tyler Perry is in the movie industry, he's involved in TV, he's, he's basically everywhere, right? Um, he doesn't encompass everything that BET stands for. Yes, BET does play movies, but that is not primarily their focus. BET does also do a lot of cultural things, especially in the realm of music. Byron Allen is another reason why I would actually disqualify him. I'm not saying that he can't purchase it. I'm just saying it wouldn't make much sense for him to purchase this deal other than just trying to dip his toes in to make it more culturally relevant. The one that would make the most sense to me in both aspects, whether it's movies, whether it is music, whether it is culture, would actually be P. Diddy because all of those aspects of what he believes and what it is that he practices fall right in line with BET. I guess the one advantage that Tyler Perry does have is he's already a stakeholder. So this is going to be interesting. But let me know what it is you guys think. Who do you think this is going to go to? Do you think it's going to be Tyler Perry? Do you think it's going to be Byron Allen? Or do you think it's going to be P. Diddy? Who walks out with this deal? Or does Scott Mills just pick up his bag and go home? Let me know what it is you guys think. And I will see you again for the next one. Easy.